I finished cleaning up and on to more serious business. Um, I don't ever normally do this on Monday Shabbos because I don't know why. But um, I actually lent out my crack pot for Shabbos, like a neighbor, whatever, needed a small crack pot. And she did such a good job cleaning it. Um, but this is what I will say for my crack pot. Here it is. Um, see, it's very, very clean. She did a good job, nothing like that. Um, the inside is like basically as clean as it gets for my crack pot. Um, it just still always has a chillin' smell. I can't stand it. I will not use my crack pot during the week. Um, any food that cooks in it, I feel like smells like chillins. I feel like there has to be those of you out there that hear me on this. It's just too much of a chillins association. And I'm I'm not anti chillins, but sort of I am. Like once in a while, I, I don't eat it every Shabbos. I don't love it. I make it because my kids love it. My husband loves it. They like it on Shabbos. But I'll eat it once in a while, but it has to be boiling hot out of the pot. If that chillin sat in the bowl for two minutes and starts to like congeal, done. I will, it's, it's over. I will not eat it. I know there's also a whole school of people out there that have it for leftovers and their family likes it and that's awesome. I personally, I just can't do it. I could be that it's because I don't like it enough. Maybe that's why I can't do it, I don't know. But I saw this video recently about how to clean a crock pot. It's pretty basic. I don't know why I never did it. Oh, hi, Max. Um, I don't know why I never did it, but I decided we are gonna give the crock pot a good scrub down. And I feel like I'm not the only one out there that could use this, so we're gonna do it together. Here we go, okay? You only need two things, baking soda. Surprise, surprise. I feel like all good cleaning starts with baking soda and vinegar. This is white vinegar, but the bottom. Okay, it actually really is white vinegar. I'll show you. See, you see in the cup? It's really white, just the bottle is like yellow, so it's looking like cider vinegary, but it's not. It's plain white vinegar. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to get the base soaking, not the pot. Oh, it's in yellow. How do you clean the base? There's electricity. I know, I saw this. I don't know why this is not like innovative. It just makes sense. Um, okay, we want to sprinkle the whole thing, especially the dirty areas, with a generous amount of baking soda. Yes, the whole thing of baking soda, but it seems worth it to me to get the smell of cholent at of my house for the whole week right so i did sprinkle the whole bottom but you could see the places where there was like more build up i put more of the baking soda okay now you just want to go in with enough vinegar to create a paste we don't want to soak this because we can't use water to wash it out okay basically what you want to do so that you don't like you know deal with the electricity issue is you just want to put enough liquid just to create a paste that we can scrub and remove with paper towels and then just use a wet paper towel like a damp paper towel just to clean it out this way we don't have to this whole thing in water but because it's not like fully covered that's why i want to do this first we're going to set this aside now this is going to rest for like 20 minutes now we're going to move on to this baby which looks clean but smells like chillin i don't understand why doesn't the smell leave why why doesn't the smell go because out it doesn't, it, it, it likes our house. why doesn't the smell of the chillin leave the pot maggie why no i don't know why is it clean it looks clean why? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so now we're going to take a very generous amount, sprinkle it all over. We are going to add also a very generous amount. I would say I'm going to put like a cup even of vinegar in here. That was like a cup and a half. I'm even going with two cups. There we go. Like two cups of liquid into the bottom of our crock pot. I'm using a small crock pot, by the way. I don't know if you could see the size just for like reference. Oh, thanks, Max. Yeah, wipe that in, wipe that in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to that, I'm just going to add hot water wow. till I fill it up to the top, and we're gonna let that sit also for like a good 20 minutes. Ooh, don't touch it. I mean, I guess there's nothing toxic, but yeah. Okay, so I filled it up with the hottest tap water possible. We're going to get the, can you, can you pass me the cover, sweetie? Right there, behind. Good job. We're just going to cover this. We're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes also. Then we're gonna move back to this. You could already actually see, it's actually pretty yes. impressive. We didn't do anything. That's been sitting. That's all the work that the baking soda and the vinegar has done on its own. See, this is why I like these when the Shabbos is oh. end early. We have time for stuff like this on Monday Shabbos, right? Okay, you guys don't know this about me, but I have like a little bit of a sponge obsession. Normally there's actually five sponges in here. There's one that goes like this, the long way, but we ran out of them. It's like the white magic sponges. We always have these. This is like the new one that I just got. This is just a regular. 
This is like a little bit more of an abrasive sponge. It's actually a Shabbos sponge. They sell it in Israel. It comes in a two pack, like a red and a blue. I love it. Um, it's good for like hard scrubbing. And this is a super abrasive sponge. I love this. This is really good for like hard to get. The inside is foamy, but the outside is almost like a nail file in a way. But it's so, so good for deep cleaning. Um, this is like my other Shabbos sponge. And this is, you know, this is the newest one. And then the magic sponge goes here. Normally, wait, I just wanted to show you this box. It's called, oh, there's one in here. One is missing. That's why there's a hole. Um, Niskoch. Not, whatever something scotch it's it is really good like for when like you spill something on your stove top and it gets stuck on or like really good pots and pans you just wouldn't want to use it on anything like non-stick or delicate like I wouldn't use this on the inside of the crock pot and I even feel like it's a little bit too abrasive for the inside of the um the holder of the crock pot you know the metal part really was the magic sponge but they I guess Udeni also now is addicted to sponges <laughs> And they ran out while I was in America, so I have to go get more when I do my big shopping tomorrow. But I think for today, I'll use this because it's just the right amount of a break. Okay, Leibiel is holding the phone for us. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to use the sponge. You can see it's like more of a paste. See, like that's it. That's all the liquid. And as I start rubbing, that will also absorb the baking soda. I'm just going to start. Look at that. Look at how that's coming off so easily. Okay, and I'm just going to take the paste and I'm going to rub it, wait, they can't see, there you go, in all the spots where, you know what, maybe I am gonna go with the more abrasive sponge, why not, why should I work this hard? Okay, I actually have a garbage bowl here to hold my sponges and also like the paper towels that I'm gonna use to wipe things up just to make it easier. Okay, I, I switched to this sponge just for this pot. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Look at all that coming up. Can you see that? Look at that. Okay, I just wanna show you, I got all of like the stuff out. I just used the sponge to scoop it out. You could see how much came up without any effort. I do just, like I have that little line there, those little dots. And that little section right there. I don't know if like my crock pot is beyond because I never knew to do this. I just didn't think you could actually like clean this part. I always just use paper towels to wipe it up as much as possible. But you know, Matze Shabbos hours later, it just never happened. Oh, look at that. Even that got really clean. Um, and now I'm just going to go in with like, I, I'm going to scrub these parts really, really, really hard. I'm maybe even going to add a drop more like clean baking soda and vinegar just to those like rough patches. Here we go, let's get that out of there so we Why can add, add more. One? I just added a little more to the rough patches. You could see the paste. I'm actually gonna spread that up there. And you probably maybe wanna use gloves. I mean, there's it's just vinegar and baking soda, but still it's kind of gross to touch. I think I would use gloves. Just put the paste there. Now for this part, I want to use something non-abrasive because it's non-stick. I don't want to wipe away the non-stick. Um, this crock pot doesn't have any gunk in it. I always spray mine a lot with Pam, so nothing really gets stuck, but it still just has that smell. So hopefully the vinegar and the baking soda will cast. I'm going to turn on like the hottest sink water possible. I'm going to take my new sponge because it's not abrasive. It's very gentle. And I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to scrub everything. Yeah, it is vinegary in my hand. I'm just scrubbing like the corners, everything, making sure the vinegar and the baking soda got in everywhere. Then I'm gonna turn it upside down and scrub some more. There we go. And then I'm gonna wash the whole thing out with soap and water and we will see how it smells. It's definitely clean and shiny, right? One second, let's get some hot water in there. Let's just give it a hot water scrub before we do soap. Okay. I'm really liking how this looks. Let's give it a smell. This is very exciting. I just want to show you, I just finished cleaning it with soap and hot water also. Zero chillin smell. Zero chillin, well, now there's soap because I put it back in the bottom of the sink, but literally, zero chillin smell anywhere. No, smell, like a good whiff, a really big whiff. No, no chillin. No chillin smell, right? Ellie, smell this, smell this. No chillin smell? Let me smell. Nope. Zero. It completely deodorized the pot. Completely. It is clean. It is spotless. In general, you should just know I always spray my crock pot with tons and tons and tons of Pam so that everything just slips right out so there's never gunk left in it. It just always has that smell. And now there's no smell. I have my beautifully clean uh, crock pot insert right here that is completely smell odor free. Um, but now I'm going to go back to this. This has been sitting. We got all that gunk. 
I need my really abrasive sponge for this. We're just gonna go in for another, uh, you know, smush over there. Just really try to get as much out. I'm, I'm wondering if my crack pot is too far gone. Like maybe I needed to be doing this like once a month, but oh well. Oh well, we'll see. What okay, I scrubbed a lot. I just started taking paper towels and I'm gonna wipe out all the inside and see what's going on here and really assess the situation. All right, I got out as much of the baking soda and vinegar as I could. I have just a few paper towels here that I put water in and a little soap under. I um, smushed it, you know, wring it out. It's a little bit damp and I'm just gonna go around and wipe the whole inside and get out like the leftover vinegar and baking. Okay, I wiped it a few times with the uh, soapy water and the towel that I wrang out. And then I used just a few damn paper towels to get the soap out and then I dried it really well. See, I really do think this is as clean as it's gonna get. I think that an embarrassingly poor um, condition. <laughs> I really didn't know that you could clean this bottom until I saw the Facebook thing. And it always bothered me. And then once a year I would just buy a crack pot and that's such a waste of money. I should have just known from the beginning and maintained it better. But the good news is, is that this has zero chillin' smell. The real test will be when we plug it in, what it smells like. But this is absolutely beautiful smelling. The inside smells brand new. Smell whatsoever. Um, this, I, you know what, I'm gonna try to screenshot one of the earlier videos. I should have done it before and after because this is so significantly better. Um, the real test is gonna be when we make something this week. So we are going to use the craft bath this week. That's it for tonight's cleaning adventures. Um, <laughs> it's not really a recipe, but it will make your recipes taste better because then they won't taste like children, hopefully, if you have that issue like me. Um, anyways, this definitely helped me. It made it more fun for me. Um, I hope it helped you and made it more fun for you. Happy early Matze Shabbos. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Wait, 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 I'm not finished. I don't know why I thought I was finished. One more quick thing. Okay, the two sponges that I used, the red shab sponge and the very abrasive sponge, I had to throw them out. They smell too bad, they were beyond repair, so maybe do all your dishes first and then use the sponges. Anyways, it's good to replace your sponges every And also, don't wear shab's clothes when you do this cleaning. Um, they will get dirty. Yes, they will. Okay, that's it, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye.